Good day! This is Dr. Arvin A. Marinduque, head teacher for of Tagaytay City Science National High School, Integrated Senior High School, and I am here to present to you my study entitled Synchronous and Asynchronous Learning Delivery and Academic Performance of Selected Students of Tagaytay City Science National High School, Integrated Senior High School, Basis for Proposed Intervention Program. Rational. The education system around the world is witnessing a significant shift in its expectations to address immediate and sustainable development challenges due to COVID-19, Carolis 2020. Private and public schools are put to the task on revising and adapting course syllabi as they shifted to alternative or remote learning modalities, both synchronous and asynchronous activities. DepEd, DepEd 2020. Students and teachers need to access electronic devices and reliable internet connections to use applications like Google Meet, Zoom, and Skype. CHED 2020. But when students had limited access to computers or to a reliable internet, teachers and students used mobile phones to exchange messages, notes, and materials through text messaging, email, and Facebook Messenger. With the mentioned situations of the schools, teachers, and students, it is of great premise that there is a need for continuous educa education in the delivery of distance learning programs, synchronous and asynchronous modalities. This paved way for the researcher to look deeply at the implementation and extent of effectiveness of the synchronous and asynchronous science learning delivery in relation to the student's academic performance, 2021 to 2022 of Tagaytay City Science National High School Integrated Senior High School as basis for a proposed intervention program. Methodology Quantitative method of research with purposive sampling technique was used in the study, while questionnaire on the lesson content, lesson input, and lesson enrichment were used to gather empirical data to select a junior high school, Tagaytay City Science National High School, Integrated Senior High School, composed of 125 students from grade 7 to grade 9, who are enrolled, enrolled for the school year 2021 to 2022. Additionally, frequency count, percentage, weighted mean, and ranking were used to analyze and interpret the data gathered. Moreover, pertinent request letters to conduct the study were undertaken and were also utilized and explained to respondents about the nature of the study. Results and Discussions Extent of Effectiveness of Synchronous and Asynchronous Science Learning Delivery as Assessed by the Respondents Based on the findings of the study, all indicators were assessed as strongly agree as strongly agree as the extent of effectiveness of synchronous and asynchronous learning delivery in terms of lesson content. Weighted mean equals 3.62. Lesson inputs weighted mean 3.76. And lesson applications weighted mean equals. In addition, the respondents assess the level of academic performance of junior high school in science having implemented the synchronous and asynchronous learning delivery as improving. Weighted mean equals 3.56. Furthermore, there is no significant relationship in the significant relationship in the assessment on the extent of effectiveness of synchronous and asynchronous learning delivery in terms of their age and gender. Conclusions In the light of the findings and results of the study, it can be concluded that an intervention program may be, be developed that will provide learners with more critical assessment on how students manage meaningfully their time, patience, and understanding science concepts in the synchronous and asynchronous learning modalities as it is related to their level of academic performance. This study was, study was limited to synchronous and asynchronous learning modalities as it influenced the level of academic performance of the students and its impact in the delivery of science subjects. And this research study is an outcome of how students cope with asynchronous and asynchronous learning modalities 
learning science subjects. Recommendations This study requires the commitment and involvement of the concerned personnel to sustain its effectiveness and reliability. Thus, the following recommendations were made. School heads should have a joint school planning which have been successful, successfully done in most schools by principals, teachers, and school committees to address the needs both the teachers and students and be able to sustain them. School heads should help decide on approaches to improve student achievement, communication, productivity, and effective teachers, students, and stakeholders. Teachers should upgrade their skills in the area of assessing of students' work as well as their learning achievements. And a proposed intervention program should be adapted and cascaded to the school head, department head, master teachers, and teach teachers for the enhancement of the learning strategies, pedagogical approaches, assessments, professional growth, and development to address the needs of the learners. Here is the proposed intervention program. And here are